Well, along with featuring great food in the Cisco Kitchen, we also want to recognize some of the culinary greats from right here in the Treasure Valley. We've got Michael Runsvold with us today from Acme Bake Shop in Boise. And Acme Bake Shop was just named a semifinalist for Outstanding Baker in the prestigious James Beard Award. So, good morning, Michael. Thanks for coming here and showing us some of the, your tricks of the trade. But congratulations, first of all. It's a big honor, right? Yeah, thank you very much. It, uh, it is. It's... Um some of the other semi-finalists in the baker category are just incredibly accomplished people. I own books that they've written and yeah. they run baking schools, so it's just uh, really an honor to be on the list. And the James Beard Awards there, it's a big honor for the whole country. It is, yeah. Yeah, okay, so you're from Acme Bake Shop, and uh, Acme Bakery, excuse me, and it looks like you brought the bakery here. What are we doing today? Well, I, I brought some dough that I formed by hand this morning. I'm trying to, to do something that would, that would more work for baking at home. Okay. So we're going to mix a little dough by hand and um, cut some dough that we already made, and then uh, we'll bake some bread. Okay, sounds good. Where do we start? Um, let's start, I think Horton was going to help us mix the, the, oh, the dough, but um, okay. we can start... <laughs> With cutting here. Okay, um, so what do you put all together? Well, this is all just flour, water, salt, and yeast. Okay. We use a little bit of our wild yeast culture, mm -hmm. which is like sourdough. You can okay. smell that. Yeah, it does It'll be smell familiar. Like yeah, you can smell that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we have some some whole wheat flour okay. that was uh, grown and milled here in Nampa. Oh, cool. A um, little local flavor, Canyon yeah. Bounty Farm. Oh, neat. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we're, we're just going to at this point. Okay. Cut so pieces really off. Really are cutting it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little stretch. Yeah. Let me feel. see this. I've never made bread before like this, so this is a learning experience for me. Okay. So you got this. What do you do now? You got. Make sure you put some flour out for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty sure. of flour That's out. So trick. we're going to put it on our on our linen couche. Okay. It's what's called a couche. It's a uh, proofing fabric. Do you need one of these if you're making it at home? Um, you can use a, a a towel, kitchen towel. Oh, okay, good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, just put that there. Does that just look okay? Just put it there. <laughs> it looks fine. See, we're, we're going for a, a very rustic look. Okay. It doesn't have to be beautiful. I like that. Just a little cut here. Okay. On the couche. And fold it over. And fold it over. Okay. And cut another piece. Cut another piece. Let me try. Okay. That big enough? Sure. <laughs> we would scale it if we were selling it. Yeah. This, but we're doing it, you know, for personal use. We can be be a little casual. Have okay. Fun. Put that Just on throw there. Throw it up on there. This will be kind of a ciabatta style bread. Okay. By the time we're done. And at your bakery, do you have lots of breads? What kind of things do you do you have there? Uh, it's primarily breads. Yeah. Uh, sourdough, baguettes, um, oh brioche, yeah. get a little sweet. Um, all sorts of things. Okay. Okay. So then, what do we do? We have to let it rise. Is we'll that have to true? let it rise okay. a little bit. Um, so we'll just fold it over so it doesn't dry out. Okay. Fold the fabric over and let it sit. Okay, let that sit. How long would you do that? Uh, we'll let it sit for about a half hour before okay. we talk about baking it. And put it in the oven. Right. Okay, and we're going to stick around because we'll be back on Fox 9. We've gotten Horton here. Dr. Seuss character. It's Dr. Seuss's birthday. Hey, Horton. Hello. <laughs> you want to try mixing something? Sure, that sounds great. <laughs> what should he do, Michael? Well, Horton, what should you do? Just get your hands in there and... Move it around until okay. all the all the water and the flour and the salt and the yeast have come together. Oh, good work, Horton. Oh, goodness. It's Dr. Seuss's <laughs> birthday. We're going to check back in with, with Horton and the rest of the physical characters coming up on Good Morning Idaho. We'll find out why they're all here. Good morning, Idaho. Thanks, Michael. Good morning, Idaho. Welcome back to more of the show. Man. We had a packed house we earlier did. today with yeah. all the cast of Susicle the Musical. And right now we've got one of our other guests rejoining us, Michael Runsvold. Thanks so much for uh, being back in the kitchen. Thanks for having me. We are excited to congratulate you on being uh, nominated as a semifinalist for the prestigious James Beard Awards. Congratulations. Thank you. And we understand that uh, it's, for, it's for the best baker or outstanding baker category, correct? Outstanding baker. So what exactly does that mean? James Beard Awards, some people may not have heard of those. Well, it's... Um it's a, ni a nationwide award. They they have different categories. There's bar, um, bakery, and then chefs um, uh, for each region. And at this stage, where the semifinalists have been announced, um, including uh, Nathan Whitley from the Modern Hotel. Yeah, from the here Modern. Yeah. He's he's planning on coming on the show as well in just a couple weeks oh, that's on great. Good Morning Idaho as well. So uh, yeah. I, it, for both of you guys, sounds like a pretty big honor then. Yeah. It is absolutely awesome. Well, uh, Jillian, you got to. What yes. did you learn? I uh, <laughs> learned how to cut the dough and mix it all together, and we let it rise. And so now we've got some finished bread that I wanted to try and taste. It's a sourdough <laughs> mix, though, right, Michael? Yeah, uh, there's a little bit of sourdough mm -hmm. in it. It's uh, uh, I wouldn't call it that though. Okay. Oh, okay. So is it kind of your own <laughs> creation of some something in between? Would you it's say? Um, 
Yeah, it's 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 my it's <laughs> I suppose it's my recipe. Um, techniques I've learned from a lot of different things yeah. I've read, but um, uh, nice. yeah, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of sourdough, a little bit of wheat flour, and it's kind of a ciabatta baguette. Can we try some of this? Absolutely. All right. That's Thank what it's you here so for. much. Yeah. Oh, and it's uh, something that you've been working on. Obviously, don't have an oven right here, but we know that this was already uh, uh, baked, put together. You had a big giant. Uh, I wouldn't call this a vat, but this big container of <laughs> dough. How much does this make? For example, the dough that you have. This makes about six baguettes. It's kind of a lot for home, but since we have a whole studio full of. Uh, Dr. Seuss characters I made extra. <laughs> there you go. And it wouldn't be too much for me, actually. <laughs> I could have six mm. baguettes at home. Well, you could eat it all day. But mm. that, at, at Acme Bakery, you don't just do bread. You have other things there, too, right? Uh, we, we do. We do um, some hand pies. We do, mm -hmm. uh, and all this stuff is sold at the farmer's market. Um, uh, most of our clients are restaurants, and they buy buns and baguettes oh, okay. and things oh, like neat. that. Okay. Sliced breads. Awesome. And and so where is uh, the Acme Bake Shop then? We work out of a warehouse in Garden City. We don't actually do retail sales out of there. Okay. okay. Um, but you can buy our bread at the Boise Co-op and at the Boise Farmers Market. At the Farmers when it's Market, back like in you season. Yeah. And a lot of it's growth around. over there in Garden City with a lot of people in in the culinary right. in the industry. Yes. Setting up shop Absolutely. there. So hey, we congratulate you once again for uh, being named a semifinalist in the James Beard Awards. And when will we find out who the finalists are? I think uh, March 24th is when they're announcing the finals. All right, well, we're Pretty hoping soon. for you and for uh, the other Boise representative as well, Nate Whitley. All right, thanks Thank so much, much, Michael, for joining us on the show. Delicious bread. Yeah, it's good. This is really good. Mm. Coming up after the break.